everyone so today's video is going to be on how I color my hair at home now I've been doing this for a very very long time I think I started when I was 14 but back then it was more kind of like experimenting uh, new colors on my hair as right now I don't want to do that I just want to kind of like warm up my hair because I have darkest brown to black and also the main reason why I color my hair is because I have a lot of gray hairs. Yes, I, I'm one of those girls who started really early. I think my first few gray hairs started when I was in my early 20s and the older I'm getting, the more I'm getting and I am just not ready to embrace them. So mostly at the front, I get a lot of gray hairs right here. You will see that from the demo. And when I do a parting on my left side, I have a lot of gray hairs and that's why the most most of the time I part my hair on the right side of my head. Now the products that I use are from the drugstore, they're from Garnier and it's the Olea range. I find them really affordable. I love them because they don't have any ammonia so you can use them in a very small space and you're not going to feel all toxic or anything like that and they you can achieve a really good uh, coverage on your hair whether you have gray hair or not uh, even though they don't have ammonia they're really really great one of the reasons why I also choose to color my hair at home is because when I go to the hairdresser um, I never achieve what I want in the first time and secondly because they always say they need to strip your hair before the color um, before you achieve that tone that you're looking for so I prefer to just do my hair at home and I know I can achieve a really good finish on my hair without having to pay so much money as well because drugstore products are very very affordable so if you guys want to see step by step what I do then please keep on watching so I'm using the Garnier Olea in 4.3 golden brown and this is a perfect color for someone who has dark hair just like me. I absolutely love it. And I'll be using a comb to divide my hair every time I need to apply color and a white tooth comb to detangle my hair. I absolutely love this even with my curls. At the end I'll be using an elastic to put my hair up once my color is completely applied. So now I'm going to show you guys what the box carries. So the first thing is an instruction manual with a lot of information but on the other side you have a lot of pictures so they're really really easy to follow so this is really really helpful. The first container that I'm taking out is the container where you can mix the color with the developer. And talking about developer, this is the first step. Step number two is the color and as I said before is 4.3 golden brown. And step number three is a deep conditioner and I use this without applying shampoo and I leave it for about 10 minutes on my hair and I absolutely love it it's a very very thick conditioner and last but not least two gloves well a pair of gloves and this is perfect because you don't want to have all that color on your nails or on your hands so now I'm going to show you guys what I meant about a lot of gray hairs on my hairline. As you can see here right at the front I have a lot and I'm going to part my hair so you guys can see how many I have in between. This is absolutely crazy. I definitely need to cover these. So now I'm starting to get ready to apply my color and I'm going to twist this cap so I can release the product.
So I always start in the center of my head because I find that way my hair gets evenly covered and I love massaging the color through just in case I miss any little hairs which are underneath. I will then continue doing this throughout um, the front part of my head as I am not covering my whole head. Um, I'm only doing my roots and I'm going to be using my comb here and I'm also going to be repeating this method throughout by parting it, applying the color and massaging it through. Like I said, I'm only doing my roots and my hairline. I'm not doing anything else on my hair. So the hairline for me is the most important part that I need to make sure it's completely covered because I do wear my hair pulled back a lot and I find that gray hairs do age you so I make sure that on my hairline my hairs are completely covered in color so that I don't miss a single hair. So now that my hair is done, I'm getting ready to pull my hair up and use that elastic that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video and I'm just going to put my hair up and leave it like that for about 15 or 20 minutes and then wash my hair and that's basically the job done. So from the demo you guys could see it's really easy to color your hair at home and I would highly recommend if you're doing it to test it on your skin first so you don't have any um, allergic reaction and not to use anything that has ammonia. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!